Hello there, Mr. Thomas. Splendid to see that you're doing well. I've noticed that you visited your dying mother this week. Smart choice. You know damn well I'm not. And how do you know I visited my... Hi. Mr. Thomas, I have eyes everywhere. Anyways, as long as you keep your end of the bargain, right? Just call me Mason. And about oh, that... Oh no, oh no. The deal is non-negotiable, okay? Anyways, tell me how's the entertainment business for you, my friend? How's that dream of making a, this dream of making it to be this one in a million chance that you probably fail? <laughs> how's that going? Good? Just hear me out. What if I can offer you something better return? Better? I like better. Entertain me, please. Uh, uh maybe a new car? Tick, tick, Mr. Tom. Okay, you have a watch. You have a watch. You must want something like women. I can get you lots of women. How about we get this thing started with then? Shall look, we? Look, I'm asking you. I'm begging you, please. I'm sorry, my friend. I don't think it's gonna work. A bet. Beg your pardon? A bet. A bet, like a game? Yes, if I win, we can go to the new deal. And what if I win? Then we keep the same deal. Deal? Alright, I'll play your little game. You know what? You remind me of a man that I met in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Well, <sighs> Good time. Look who it is. I ain't see you in this month of Sundays. How you doing, Sugar Lumps? What brings you around these dusty old parts, my eyes? Business. Just business. Well, you need to visit us more often then. We always see new folks travel around these parts looking for a break. I reckon you find a lady in need of your help around here. Um, excuse me. Yeah, what is it? Do you have a radio and where's my drink? Knock yourself out then. How about you get that radio for us? Thank you. Sure. Okay, so here. What is this? Okay, so now the bet. On the fifth channel you scan through, I bet a pop song is gonna be playing. You, you can't be serious. Just do it. <laughs> Another bet. I'm tired of playing these childish games, Mr. Thomas. This is the last one. The next person who comes to the door will be a single female who was not only lost, but a runaway from an abusive husband or boyfriend. Be more specific. Husband. Hmm. Pretty bold assumptions. Excuse me. Hello, John. I'm so sorry. Please, baby, can I come back home? I'm so sorry. I have nowhere else to go. See? Sorry. You know, I'm curious as to how you did. Instinct. Instinct. Yeah, now we have to make a new deal, you know, since you lost and all. Do you think I'm stupid, Mr. Thomas? <laughs> no. This is what real music sounds like. Like I said, I have eyes everywhere. Do you happen to stop at a gas station and fill up your tank? No. You overheard her conversation on the phone, okay? I know that. No. I've been studying you, Mr. Thomas. I know that you're trying to pull up. I can smell oh, that. I get more time, please. More time? For what? Tell me what is it that you want to do? Say you're sorry for your loved ones? Repent? <laughs> is that what you want, Mr. Thomas? To repent and beg for forgiveness from a God that don't even acknowledge his own creation. For you. I came from the mud 
There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon Yeah.